all right hey y'all it's rip one outdoors again hey we're fixing to go on our ride two in paul b johnson state park here in south mississippi so y'all grab something and hang on roll that intro yeah we're back on another ride down behind the bathhouse here by the by where we're staying we're gonna drive around the lake uh, drive around down by the water here they got some kids down here swimming yeah it's about 90 degrees <clears throat> they got some surveying markers up here for some reason I think they must be fixing to do something the state was supposed to allot them some money for the parks to redo some of this stuff but look I look I see a brand new wharf going to the ghost uh, to the goose Poot island and I see a brand new wharf over yonder but that is all I've seen so far they need as we said on the other video previous to this one they need to fix they need to fix some of these uh, pads here because old folks like us will walk off of this thing and break a leg or something. <laughs> my bell's not ringing out because I had a wire against it there. That's my, my rear camera wire was laying against it naturally anything against it is gonna cause it to it's gonna make a uh, it's gonna deaden the sound a little bit we're gonna go out and we're gonna ride out a ride a hill outside the back gate what we call the back gate here I got some pretty decent little hills we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go come back and go out by where we was at this morning down by the clubhouse except we're going out further than that got this little back gate here this is where we come in at because it saves us some time and miles if we're coming from Picayune, this is about about 45 minutes north of uh, Picayune, y'all. We get off at exit 51, so that's 51 miles. That's probably closer to an hour. That's 51 miles north of Picayune. So we're at exit one, so that's, that's 50 miles up the interstate. But yeah, you can see there's some pretty good hills here. I'm going to stop here and let these people come by. Huh. I hit that throttle and that thing spun out in that straw. Yeah, this is, uh, this is some pretty decent hills right here, y'all. We're going to have to do some pedaling. I don't think it's going to make it up it just on motor power. Y'all know more about hill climbing than I do. We don't have a whole lot of hills here to climb. But About 18 mile per hour yep oh 
oh it ain't no problem for this bike I give it a little bit of throttle to help it I'm in pedal assist 5 I don't guess that tells y'all anything but yeah this is the Pine View Church here well, we can ride down this way a little bit. Yeah, I guess I'm... I guess I'll start sounding like a broke record. But my, I'm really happy with my rear view camera. That thing does a good job. I don't who was uh, Joe rides. Joe rides says he he getting too old to fool with uh fool with mirrors and he's turned his head. Hold on there, pup. I'm about the same way. I don't care about fooling with mirrors. They take up room on your handlebars. I think we're gonna turn around here. I had Susie Q out riding with me a while ago. She just wanted to ride around that loop. So, hey, that's good. She's just taking it little baby steps. She's not a spring chicken like myself, but she don't have near about the I mean look I've got I've got a lot of miles on this bikes on these bikes. So What about it, pup? You didn't want to run me that time. Got a little town over there through the woods there called Dixie. So I guess if you live there you could tell somebody you was from Dixie. Okay, we're gonna go down the hill now. per hour there <laughs> yeah we's coming on down that hill brother y'all the pollen is all over everything that is a fact. It's all over this bicycle. Okay, we're down by the, uh, we're down, uh, that's the back side of the, the clubhouse there. And this is a splash pad. Let's see, I think that gate's open. If that gate's open, maybe I can get in there. Yeah. This is the little splash pad. I know my grandson, he loves to come here. Uh, of course, they're not splashing in it now, but as you could see back up there a while ago, there was people out there in the lake swimming. I mean, it's probably close to 90 degrees right now, but I wouldn't think that water is safe. But ah, them kids, they don't care. Okay, that takes care of the splash pad. 
Yeah, they got their normal little pavilions here. People can rent and have their birthday parties or their Sunday cookouts or whatever. Yeah, you see there's another one of the uh, the disc golf things. Now, I don't know a whole lot about the disc golf, okay? But I'm going to tell y'all something. There's a lot of people follow this disc golf thing. And you know what? It gets them outside, and, and I say that's fine. It gets them outside and gets them to doing things, uh, walking. Uh, I understand some of them use e-bikes now, and... There we go. Desert Fox Disc Off. But I tell you, like I said on the other video, this is this is uh my brother Donald, he plays this and he said this is a pretty good course right here. He said there's a lot of people like to come here and play. He said it's, it's known throughout the state, you know. These old geese around here now. Now, they'll have a bunch of little ones this summer. I always like looking at the turtles out here on this. Look out there. If there's another turtle got on that log, they've one that had to jump off. Yep. A little spillway there. So yeah, this is my favorite. This is my favorite state park. And you say, well, how can it be your favorite state park? I've only been to a couple more state parks. How can it be your favorite? Well, it's a favorite amongst the ones that I've been to. I've been to Roosevelt. That's up near Morton, Mississippi, up on Highway 20. I've been there. It's it's a nice park. It's an older park, and uh, they need to. They, the last time I was up there, they needed to do some work on that thing. Yeah, Paul B. Johnson. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty nice one. Yeah, we're going to be cutting grass here for too long, y'all. I know certain yard there at the house. We usually get... We usually get them old weeds pop up. Them old weeds pop up and... Uh, you have to start cutting on them things. But this time we're getting the grass along with the weeds. So I got a feeling we're gonna be cutting some grass. Probably within the next few weeks. Get the old lawnmower out, get it cleaned up and greased up, sharpen the blades, whatnot. And we're coming on out towards the front. Of course, they got some more pavilions back there. Looks like they're having some waffle house that's got a trailer back there. So they must be doing some waffles back there. I wonder if just anybody can just pop up there and get them some waffles. I like them uh, them hash hash brown hash brown casserole that waffle house has got. That's pretty good. Yeah, the campers are starting to come in now. Usually by in the afternoon time, let's see, it's 1344 at 144. From here right on till about four o'clock, you'll start seeing a lot of campers coming in. 
but it's still not that many people uh, during the summer that's when you're gonna see the people that late other the only thing you'll see out there today is a few bass fishermen and they're gonna have that little tournament this evening like they normally do every Thursday but hey I guarantee you this summer you won't be able to stir people with a stick out there all right we're going through the spillway yep hitting the water that's all right it ain't a couple inches deep we're not gonna panic we're just gonna ease through it throttle through it i'm not even gonna pedal We ain't worried about the deer. The old deer is doing good. This is kind of a little swampy area back here. Uh, the place we're going back here now is where they have like Boy Scout uh, groups come. Uh, let me show you this. <laughs> Guess what? What does that look like? beaver down man i fought beavers at the house and i, I thought i was fighting 10 or 12 beavers they uh, you know they're in the pond behind the house them rascals was coming and filling up my them beavers was filling up my drain and they was packing that thing and look i would go down there one evening with my boots and i would I would clean it out and they would come back there that night and damn it back up again and I keep saying they well there's a friend of mine goes to church with me he was wanting to get into trapping and he had bought him some beaver traps and So I told him, I said, well, if you want to get you some practice, you come right there at the house because I have got to eradicate that pond from the beaver. I said, the thing's about to run me crazy because they was pushing the water level up and it was coming all out in the yard there at the house. So I got Luke lined up on coming to help me. And he come and he put out traps. He caught that rascal the first night. 38 pound beaver big huge thing and I thought it was a lot more of them but that's the only one we caught and after we caught him all our, all our troubles disappeared so I never have had any more uh, stopping up of the drain let's see now I wonder how I go about getting down there to that little road. Oh, let's go. I'm bound to get down there to it through here. That wind's kicking. So yeah, them beavers, boy, they are they are a pest. Well, I know they've got a purpose here, y'all. All things have a purpose. Everybody says, you know, yeah, they got a purpose. I understand that. I understand where they come from and mosquitoes have got a purpose here but I ain't never figured that one out yet any y'all live in the south where we got mosquitoes that's that's the what they call the Louisiana guard dog there I guess that floats over in the Mississippi too again we're looking at more pavilions and whatnot and uh I think they call these education areas, things. Boy Scouts can have uh, camps and all here. Pretty nice. So 
so we are directly across the lake now from where we were over there behind the at the at the splash pad in the clubhouse there. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something I haven't left the park other than that few minutes that I rode out on that top of that hill I haven't left the park and I put 16.2 miles on this bike I just goes to show you how much riding it is around and I still I, I don't know if I still covered all the roads here yet them big old long leaf pine pine cones there now you believe it or not these people has to go buy them things at Christmas time they buy them things by the sack full. and they use them as as decorations around their house for, for Christmas time yep I want to go down the nature trail. Well, I don't think I'm going to go no further because it looks like they've been cutting back in here and cutting this trail. I don't know. I might go ride back yeah, in let's there right. a little let's bit. Go. Let's ride just a little bit. Why not? As long as we don't come across no rattler. And they got some rattlers in here, y'all. Now, it, it's it's kind of a strange thing because down there by the house, there we don't have no... <coughs> excuse me, y'all, that's that pollen. Down there by the house, we don't have no rattlesnakes. I've never seen a rattler there at the house. excuse me but you go right out there at Mickey's house they got them across the road Mickey lived about 45 minutes from us they got them that crosses the road out there that looks like a fence post and they probably got some in here too these hills and these longleaf pines speaking, speaking of longleaf and bike trails. We wasn't speaking on bike trails, but now we are. But they got a bike trail up in Hattiesburg. It's called the Longleaf Trace. Yeah, let's just whip it on through here. Yeah, it's called the Longleaf Trace. It's 44 miles long. And it goes from Hattiesburg all the way up to, I think it's Prentice. Prentice, Mississippi. So we're kind of thinking about, uh-oh, I missed that turn. I guess you'd call this is a little bit of trail riding, mountain biking. Maybe not mountain biking, but hey, you could have fooled me. Pretty nice little trail. But yeah, we thinking about riding that trail and we gather up enough of us to go. We're gonna go up there and ride it. And Donald, we get Donald to come from uh, Jackson down. That'll be about an hour and a half, I guess, for him. We get Donald to come down and meet us. And let's take us a ride. Well, I guess I should have turned back there because I just wound up, I just wound up right out here by the beaver dam. Okay, that's all right. Let's just just turn around right here. Oh well, Magic Cycle's getting some more footage here. 
of trail riding. They build them a bench there so they can sit down if they get if they get tired. Yeah, looks like we got a little bridge here to cross. Whoa, I see holes. Okay. I think we're gonna go out right here, y'all. This is where we come in at. Hey, that's a nice little trail. tell you what we'll close this one out y'all it's been fun I'm starting to sniffle from that pollen a little bit yeah let's uh let's check out that that link in that description if you think you might be interested in one of them magicycle bikes use that link if you will my channel will get credit for it they like to see things like that the bike company there's also some Amazon affiliate links for some accessories that I use here rear view camera phone holders uh, the Paseco phone holders on there uh, what else all kind of little things uh, helmets got the Cena helmet that I use here to communicate with others it's on there we got the smart for you helmet all kind of little odd and ends, what not. So y'all check that out. And hey, if you don't mind, hit that like and that subscribe button. Hey, we'll catch y'all later. We're fixing to go back across the uh, spillway here. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. <laughs>